union of a husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity in their lives today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of their love and your love, a partner suitable for him. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. And then, brother, these are the words of our Lord. May you hear them not just today, but find meaning, blessing, joy, hope, and challenge in them all the days of your lives. From what I can tell so far, I think that you probably are a great hunter. <laughs> and a fine figure of a man. <laughs> you and your groomsmen are looking just as possible, as good as you possibly can. As hard as it is to believe, there will be a time in your marriage when she won't look so good to you, and you'll wonder what you got yourself into. <laughs> and Caroline, though Chad may seem like a great hunter and fine figure of a man to you today. <laughs> Somewhere along the way, you'll ask yourself, how can I possibly put up with this guy? He doesn't have somewhere to go home. <laughs> it's during those times that God gives us something borrowed. When our loved ones drive us the most crazy, is when we can borrow the love Jesus has for all of us. We just read, this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us. He gave his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins, friends. Since those of God so loved us, then we can love one another. In other words, when our husbands and wives are the most unloved, we can borrow the unconditional grace and love of God to love them. It's a super love. It's a super duper love. It's a divine love that comes from Him, and we plain run out of love ourselves. Jesus did not die on the cross because people love Him. He died on the cross because He loves people. Borrow Christ's unearned forgiveness to forgive each other, and his patience to have patience. This is his most precious gift to all of us, something borrowed called his grace. Chad, I know you fell in love with Caroline, watching her bottle be honor her, support her, comfort her, be at her side in those sickness and health, good times and bad times, and forsaking all others. Keep her only as long as you live. If so, answer, I will. Caroline, do you take Chad to be your husband? You love him, honor him, support him, comfort him, be at his side in both sickness and health, good times and bad times, and forsaking all others, keep him only as long as you live. If so, answer, I will. I give myself to you, to be your husband. I give you my pledge of faith.